Hey everyone, welcome back to the Road to 1000 Chess Elo. We're currently sitting at 722, so let's start a new game. Thanks to the few people that stopped by and watched the videos. Uh, it's pretty cool that uh, some people are uh, checking out the gameplay. Pretty thrilled about that. And thanks to the people that left some tips as well. Pretty standard so far, nothing crazy. I get into this position a lot and I'm never really quite sure if I should capture or not because he has one two, three defenders on the d4 square. So I'm always ca uh, tempted to capture with the e-pawn, but I never really have anything to recapture it, but I wonder if it's almost not a big deal. The thing that always ends up happening is that the light square bishop, if I push with the e-pawn, the light square bishop always gets into really weird positions. Um, I think just for one game, I'll try to recapture here and see what happens. Normally I wouldn't do that, but I'm just going to see what happens. I guess the problem with this is that all of the squares for the light square bishop are defended here by the knights. I guess that's probably the one reason why that's kind of a bad play. I'm just going to push it back. That's, 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 I probably shouldn't have captured it with the E pawn there. I'm probably not going to do that anymore. Yeah, so now he has two attackers here. Um, I think I'm just forced to do this right now. Normally, I would move the light square bishop onto E2 there. But that wouldn't have been an option. Or I guess that would have been an option. Because um, the knight is defending e2. Yeah, I probably should have just thrown the bishop on e2. I think that would have made more sense. I think this is going to make the um, the dark square pretty... The dark square sort of diagonal pretty weak here if I decide to castle. But he kind of just wasted a move there, so... Um, yeah, I want to move back, but now I'm a little bit stuck. Maybe I'll try to just kick his knight. Force him to move it out of the way. Maybe if he jumps back, I can push the d-pawn. And then start to develop the light square bishop so I can castle. Or at least start thinking about castling. Koopa Troopa from USA. Yeah. Let's see. So if I go D4, he can take, I can take, he can take, I can take, and then I'm up. I think I'm just going to push. I'm surprised he did that. He just removed his defender. I think he just hung his knight. He just hung his knight. Yeah, he just hung his knight. Gave me check as well. Bishop e6 definitely wasn't the play there for him. I'm just going to move back for now. I'm up a knight, so that's already pretty good. I need to start developing my b1 knight. b7 pawn is pretty weak at the moment. Okay. 
wonder if I just should push here. Maybe I capture here. Uh, this pawn is hanging. Yeah, e5 pawn's hanging. I'll just take it. He has nothing to recapture with. I do need to defend this pawn though at some point. Probably dark square bishop to Maybe I just go here and trade since I'm up four in material. Maybe I just move it back to F1. Oh, I see what's gonna happen here. So we're gonna have a queen trade happen here. Hmm, I don't really wanna trade queens at the moment. Yeah, I don't want to trade queens so early. I know I'm ahead. I just I just don't want to do it. That's the only thing. I think I'll just defend the queen. If he wants to trade, that's fine. But I don't want to lose my ability to castle quite yet. I'm surprised he did that, honestly. He just gave me another free pawn. If he takes my c3 pawn, I'll probably just take his queen. I'm up quite a bit in material. I need to move my king. I wonder if castling is kind of a weird move. And he does have this right away, if I were to castle. Maybe I need to add another defender or attacker to d5. Maybe this is the play. I think he's gonna be forced to move his king here. Well, he could he could put his bishop on d7 too. I'll just go for it. I really need to start developing these pieces here. Okay, so he lost his right to castle, which is good. So maybe there's a way to punish this now. I'm just gonna develop. I'll protect this pawn. Maybe I push pawn to b3. No, I need to protect this pawn. Uh, I was thinking pushing the pawn to b3 and then delivering him check, which would force him to put his king on g8. So there's two attackers there. Maybe I just take this. No, that's kind of weird. I wonder if I should just trade. You know, I'm pretty far up. I have a pretty good material advantage, so I think it's fine to just trade there.
this seems okay. Maybe I should just castle so I can throw my rook onto the E file. There's an idea. I think we'll just get a castle going. Oh, I should have just captured his bishop there. Hmm. Should I just continue to trade? This pawn, the b7 pawn is pretty weak. Hmm. I think this is a good move, putting the knight onto d6. If he takes with the queen, I just recapture. Seems okay. I wonder if it matters which one. I'll try it. Let's see if he goes for the trap. I don't think he will. I need to play just a little bit faster. I'd like to get the rook out too on a1. Hmm. I could check him, but it wouldn't really accomplish anything. I'm just going to trade. He'll probably take this. I'll be surprised if he takes this. That would be a mistake. Then I can just check him again here. I don't think he'll take this, but we'll see. If he doesn't, yeah. Close. I need to get my queen out at some point. Um, he can sack this, that's fine. I really just want to get this bishop out. It's kind of doing nothing at the moment. And he has twice as much time as me, so I'll probably talk a little bit less and play a little bit more. I'll talk more in the game review. Oh, that's check. Oh, that's pretty bad. I did not see that move. Yeah, I was worried that this was going to be open, sort of, for a big part of the game. Let's see, this doesn't make any sense. Can't block. There's nothing I can block it with. I think I have to move. Well, I could do this. Hmm. Do I care about that? He's just going to take my bishop if I do that. Well, he's taking my bishop either way. I think I just have to do this. Okay. 
My queen's really inactive. Could do this. I could go knight here, d5. Just see if he recaptures. Could have just taken that as well. Actually, I think I think this was the play. Both of our rooks are really inactive. I only have a minute left, so I have to be careful. I don't know if that was the play. I'm just trying stuff now. I have a really bad threat here. Maybe I should have just done this, huh? Oh, duh. That was a really bad move. That was a really bad move. I basically just gave him a knight for free. Hopefully he doesn't notice it. It happens at this rating. Okay, I think I have to just concentrate for the rest of this round. Engine will not be happy with this here. <laughs> yeah, a bit unfortunate. Really? It seemed like a blunder by him. Really? Does he have like a winning play here or something? Check. Um, pretty sure if I just take this, I think I just won. His bishop is pinned. If he defends this, I take. And if I take here with the rook, I'm pretty sure it's just checkmate because there's nowhere he can go. I think his only move is just putting his rook on g7. I, I think that's all he can hope to do and then try to win on time. Yeah, so he made the play, uh, makes sense. Um, I'm gonna just start pushing. I'll just take some stuff while we're here. I probably don't need to do this, but... Oh, I could have taken this way. I missed that. Uh, and actually, I think I just have GG after this. If he pushes his rook to g8, I'll just capture with my rook here, and then it should be gg. Um, let's see. Uh, there's checkmate. Nice. Cool, that was pretty good. Um, two blunders. Let's watch the review. I know I had one really bad blunder there. Okay, so it looks like I had a pretty good advantage there most of the game. So I was at 74.9 accuracy, he was at 65, and I played at 900, he played at 750. Felt like a pretty even game for the most part. There was one position where I wasn't really sure what to do. Let's see what the engine thought about that pawn capture. 
I'm surprised that this is excellent. I feel like this threw me into a bad position, but the engine likes it. I'm never, sh I'm never really sure why it wants that. I don't know what to do after that. It's a bit interesting. It wants me to leave the bishop on e2 and castle instead, but it seems like this is such a free capture. It seems like that trade's not worth it, so I don't quite understand why that's an inaccuracy. Bishop trade there makes sense because there was two defenders on e2, so I get that. Develop the knight instead, okay. Yeah, he left his piece hanging there, so I can see why that's a great move. Put him in check there, okay. Okay. Oh, sure. Kick his knight because c4 is defended. Makes sense. Uh, there's one position I want to see. I wasn't quite sure about. I'm glad that was the right move. I wasn't sure if I should try to defend with the knight there. Capture the knight there. That made sense. Hmm, that's a mistake, huh? Putting the rook on e1. Interesting. Yeah, that, this is probably the worst move I had the whole game. Just throwing my knight away. I didn't. I didn't uh, see that move with his bishop there. Uh, this seemed like a really bad play from him to not capture this. That was just a free rook. He should have taken that. This, this move didn't really make any sense. I didn't see that. I didn't realize this was open. Makes sense now. I also missed this capture here. I probably didn't need to capture this pawn. I think I was just feeling the time pressure and feeling the need to capture something. And definitely this was the play. I missed it. Either way, it seemed like it was pretty lost for him at this point anyway. So, and then we got checkmate. So, okay, pretty good. Uh, why don't we just do a couple puzzles for fun? Um, I'll probably just do like three of them. I'll try. Let's see. Tempting to go to h8, but he's just going to recapture with the knight. So that's not the play. Maybe h6, g7. Nice. Let's try a couple more. Okay, black to move. Let's see. Maybe queen h6, queen h2. Attacking the queen seems really weak here. Ah, oh, darn. That definitely wasn't the play, huh? That's not the play either, huh? I'll try it one more time and then I'll take a hint. 
I don't think this does anything. It doesn't seem like it does anything. Fork here. I'll go for the hint here. Interesting. Really? This one's really causing me to think, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just struggling on this one. Oh, duh. You know what's really weird? I've always noticed that the puzzles are a lot easier on the mobile app than they are on the desktop. I don't know if anyone else notices that, but I've definitely noticed it. Um, it seems like this is the play, right? This seems, um, moving a queen to f7 seems tempting, but then he can just recapture. That was pretty straightforward. Black to move. Maybe take Take d5, recaptures, bishop takes, check. Nice. I'll do one more. Okay, end game. I'm not very good at end game. U6 seems reasonable or logical. What else can we do? I guess C1 is also open. I kind of like C1 better. So he's forced to move here. C1 seems like the play because then he has no escape route. I'll go C1. Nice. Well, that was a pretty good streak. What do we get? One, two, three, four, five. Four, one, I think. Pretty happy with that. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next game.